Vox Allampra 2011 to 15. The Vox Allampra and its sister car, the Chevrolet Volt, set a new benchmark for battery vehicles because the addition of a petrol engine eliminated the range anxiety normally associated with electric drive. The Ampra is built in the US alongside the Volt, and Vauxhall offers two models in the UK, the Positive and the Electron. It rivals hybrid cars like the Toyota Prius, electric cars like the Nissan, Leaf and efficient diesel saloons, like the BMW 320d Ed. Every Ampra comes well equipped, with two 7-inch displays alloy wheels, a reversing camera and a DAB radio fitted as standard. But one of its biggest problems is its price, it's really expensive. Like its sister car the Chevy Volt, the Ampra is powered by a 85 bhp 1.4 liter petrol engine and a 148 bhp electric motor. Despite the high-tech running gear, there's nothing intimidating about the Ampra from behind the wheel. Press the start button and you'll hear a Star Trek style swoosh through the speakers to let you know it's ready to roll, there's a similar shutdown noise when you turn it off. Then simply engage drive, release the electric parking brake, and you're away. It does this in complete silence when in full electric mode, but if you need the 1.4 liter petrol generator, it hums along quietly. Cruising comfort is the Amper's forte, and the ride is comfortable too, with only big bumps unsettling it. Direct drive means the Ampra accelerates quickly, although the more powerful and lighter BMW i3 is quicker. Just like its rival, when the engine is assisting, which it does at motorway speeds, regardless of remaining battery capacity, it maintains constant revs. In corners, the low slung Vauxhall handles well. It carries its weight low in the chassis and between the axles, while wide tires mean there's decent grip. The Ampra is no sports car, though, and you feel its weight in corners, while the steering doesn't have the best feedback. Another downside is that the low front end scrapes over speed humps in town, the rubber front apron bears the brunt of the impact, but it's still unnerving to hear. The Vauxhall's economy will hinge on the type of driving you do, although its larger fuel tank means you can easily travel over long distances. If you use the car on the motorway, there's a handy hold function that allows you to save the battery charge for city use, rather than wasting it on high-speed journeys. It's capable of returning fuel economy of up to 235 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of only 27 grams km from its petrol-electric powertrain, although expect around 40 miles per gallon on motorway trips. Vauxhall claims that it's capable of traveling on pure electric for up to 50 miles, at which point the petrol engine kicks in to increase the total range to more than 300 miles. A full charge will take 4 hours and should cost around one.